In this video, we will discuss about capability maturity model. What is the capability maturity model and what are their objectives? Capability maturity model is useful to determine the maturity level of the risk management process. This model assumes certain level of processes. For example, at the beginning, process is incomplete and it does not achieve its intended purpose. Next step, process is improved, it is performed and it is able to achieve its intended purpose. Further step, process is managed appropriately planned, monitored and controlled. Further improvement, process is established. Now it is well defined, well documented and well established. Process is predictable and operates within the defined parameter to achieve its intended purpose. And last, now process is being optimized. It is continuously improving to meet it intended purpose and projected goals. So each level is improving from its previous level. This is what capacity maturity model assumes. Please note, this is only for understanding purpose. There will not be any direct question about levels of capacity maturity model. What is the objective of capacity maturity mode? Every organization has some desired level for their risk management processes. But they may be there or may not be there. They may be far away, may be near to their desired level. So objective here is to identify the gap between their current level and desired level. Maturity models helps to identify the gaps between the current state of process and desired state of process. This helps the organization to determine necessary action for improvement. Now, so main objective of capacity maturity model is continuous improvement. To move from level 0 to level 1, 2, 3 and finally to the debt level where your desired level is achieved. What are the advantages of capability maturity model? A matured organization is much more likely to prevent the incidents detect the incident sooner and recover repeatedly from the incident. It is the best technique to enable a peer review of an organization's risk management process and capacity. What are the prerequisites for implementing the capability maturity model? It requires an organization to have a defined standard and reliable process that should be followed consistently and continuously to seek the improvement. Other most important aspect is level of performance. It is the most important factor when using a capability maturity model. Performance is said to be achieved when objective of implemented process is met. Key aspects from exam perspective. Measuring the existing level of risk management processes against the desired state 
is best done through capability maturity model what is the objective of maturity model constant improvement what is the most important criteria when using a capability maturity model performance capability maturity model is based on standard repeatable and measurable processes let us discuss some practice questions which of the following is most helpful to improve the organization's risk management process maturity model practice that helps the risk manager to determine the existing level of risk management processes as against the desired level is capability maturity model A peer review of risk management process is best enabled by capacity maturity model. Most important capability dimension of maturity model for assessing the risk management process is performance performance is the most important capability dimension for capability maturity model it is achieved when implemented process achieves its intended purpose primary benefit of a maturity model for assessing the risk management process is it helps to identify the gaps it helps to identify the gaps between current state and desired state and thus helps the organization to determine necessary remediation steps for improvement to assess the capability of a risk management process of the organization a regulatory body would rely on independent team this will remove the biasness capability maturity model is primarily based on
application of standard repeatable processes that can be measured. This helps to determine the improvement or otherwise of the stated process. Others are secondary factors. An organization is in process of selection of a consultant to conduct the maturity assessment of its risk management program. Most important element for selection of the consultant is methodology to be used. It helps to understand the process and the formulas for the assessment. This is the most important element for selection of consultant. Others are secondary factors. Thanks for watching.